Okay, so this is what we've been gearing up towards. So I started researching this back in June of last year. Not too much else to do during COVID, except something that could take you well over a year to do. In this case, it didn't take me quite a year, but about nine months. Uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, between the researching for a couple months and then finally the doing it over the course of about seven and a half months, uh, here it is. This is the uh, book commonly called Liber Logal, though its actual title is Amzis Nagesis Harde. And let's take a look, shall we? So here we see the book, and this cover is supposed to have the uh, be done in blue silk, which it is. Hopefully you can see that okay. And I will just go ahead and rotate this since it's going to be easier the rest of the way. And here is the uh, title. I actually tried to get this done in um, on the cover itself, but gold leaf on uh, silk wasn't going to do it. So I just taped this on here. Uh, it's not perfect, you know, I, I wasn't expecting this to actually match anything of angel, angelic quality, but generally just to sort of get at the idea. So what I did was I um, painted this in uh, metallic gold, but then I put applied some gold leaf. Clearly this is not my strong suit, as you can tell by how relatively janky it is, but you still get some of that nice effect of the light uh, hitting it. And you can see, you can tell that there's a, it's a little browner underneath, but that's all right. You know, like I said, I'm a human being trying to do angelic work. I never expected this was going to be perfect. So let's take a look at the inside. And so as you can see here, these are all the leaves I was doing. And this is the first one. It's folded into the scrapbook here. The scrapbook is still a book. And yeah, I, um, you can see some of the bleed through from the other side. That's all right. I'll, I'll know what it is when I'm looking at it. But yeah, so there are, this is the full, uh, four, this is actually a four foot by four foot thing that I folded um, uh, four times so that uh, it would fit in here. Uh, actually more like six times, I think, yeah. So here uh, you can see it's a whole thing, but this is actually leaf one. Notice how I opened it from here to here because this is like um, Hebrew or Arabic. It's read from right to left. But yeah, so what'll happen is this little part here I've taped up. You can't see the seam here very well, but I've taped this up. And so right here, I'll just untape that. And when I need to actually look at this leaf, I will just unfold it and it'll be there in all its glory. So you can tell here, this is when I was clearly hadn't uh, realized that I would need to do the grid. So this is leaf two and I haven't uh, taped up these bottom parts. I don't think that's, that'll be necessary. I'll probably do that at the very end just to help preserve it and everything look good. But here you can see I, I switched pretty quickly to the grids. It's not easy doing this freehand, making sure everything lines up. So yeah, leaf after leaf after leaf. And in total, there are 49 leaves, as I said. So I'll just flip through these really quickly here. So yeah, you can see lots and lots of Enochian letters. And finally we get to the very end. So yeah. And then here's leaf 49, the unique uh, Loga leaf. So, and then finally the backside. I'm gonna count this as a, as a separate tables, obviously it's not meant to have that. I may just white out that middle part here, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the, uh, the book is done. And um, yeah, I'm uh, very glad to all of you who've taken an interest and who have been supportive of me along the way. Uh, especially my wife. So thank you all very much. Bye.